Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our installment of Scott Selections here for Friday, June 24th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a loss in baseball with the Padres team total over three and a half runs at minus 120 on a bet MGM. Tip of the cap to Ranger Suarez. We dared him to beat us as he was struggling leading up to this outing, but he was amazing. Probably his best start of the season. Padres made a lot of contact, not a lot of strong contact. Also stranded a decent amount of runners on base. They had the bases loaded, which they stranded. They had second and third with no outs in another inning. Only scored one run there. But the Padres also killed us on the lineup card because they benched two of their best five hitters as Luke Voigt and Cronenworth had the day off. So we ended up having to use the B lineup instead of the A lineup, which we couldn't have accounted for. And that definitely hurt us. But look for a bounce back winner here on Friday. And for the play today, we're going to go back to baseball, looking at a game between the Astros and the Yankees taking place at around 7 p.m. Eastern time. And for this play, we look at team total in this one once again. But it's going to be a unique team total. It's going to be a play we have not taken yet this season. It's going to be a first five team total. And we like the Astros. First five team total over one and a half runs at minus 125 on DraftKings. Time recording of 4 a.m. Eastern time. Cumberland's why I like the Astros team total in the first five over this number. First reason, Houston has been very good recently at getting off to hot starts. The Astros have scored at least three first five inning runs in six of their last seven games. So the Astros, first time through the order, even second time through the order, have been able to do a lot of damage against opposing starting pitchers. And I do think that should translate well in Yankee Stadium on a Friday night. Plus, that's really been the story all season long, as the Astros have been a good first five-inning offense all season. The Astros are averaging 2.58 first five-inning runs per game on the road, which ranks seventh in the league. So in opposing ballparks, Houston has, been, has looked very comfortable offensively, and that should translate once again to some more to some more offensive success here on Friday. Plus, you have Severino on the mound for the Yankees. Overall, been solid this season, but he's been struggling a bit lately. Last two starts, 11 innings pitched, 10 hits allowed, three home runs allowed, which is very concerning, and a 4.91 ERA. And to focus on the home runs there, especially at Yankee Stadium, it's going to be an issue because the Astros are averaging 1.38 home runs per game, which is the third most in the league. We know that they have a lot of power bats, especially from the left side. And again, Severino with the short porch and right. I do think that you could see Alvarez, maybe Brantley, or even Kyle Tucker hit maybe a home run or two against Severino, maybe with some guys on base, which could get us over this number in one swing of the bat. Plus, if you want to go through Houston's history against Severino, the batters have been pretty good. Houston's active batters have a career 327 batting average in 58 career plate appearances against Severino. So his numbers against Houston are a little bit iffy, and the active batters have fared well against him. And I do think that with a very low team total in Yankee Stadium, you could see Severino's struggles continue against one of the better first five offenses in the league. But Severino could bounce back. He's been good at home, but I don't like the recent form, and I don't like the recent home runs he's allowed. And I do think that's an issue dealing with a very home run dependent team like the Astros. Play that once again here for Friday, June 24th is going to be on the Astros first five team total over one and a half runs at minus 125 on DraftKings. Bye everyone.